Sports Scene TV. I'm Anthony Serenano. We're glad you could join us this week as we have a big one in the Citrus Belt League as it's two undefeated teams, 3-0, 4-4 overall records. It's Redlands East Valley visiting Redlands in their big rivalry game. We had a chance to talk to both head coaches before the game to get their pre-game comments to see what the keys to the games are. So let's take a look at that, and then after that, we'll go straight to the highlights. Um, we need to, well, offensively, let's start there. We need to um, have a high percentage of completions. Um, we need to be able to run the ball effectively. Defensively, we got to tackle. We got to get in the right, we're going to be in the right spots. So we got to tackle. So that's what, that's the keys. Well, it's a bunch of young guys that, you know, they don't know any better. They think they think we're supposed to win this thing tonight. So uh, we're going to go out and play our best we can and, and try to stop these uh, this juggernaut of Redlands East Valley and, and see if we can go to four and zero. On the Wildcats' first possession of the game, running back Alonzo Anderson runs the ball 24 yards to score the touchdown to cap a three-play 39-yard drive as Reb takes the lead 7-0 with 7.22 in the first quarter. Still in the first quarter, the Wildcats' freshman quarterback Armando Herrera hits teammate wide receiver and sophomore Chris Vaughn for a 16-yard pass. A few plays later, Rev sophomore kicker Jonathan Hilfer splits the uprights on this 37-yard field goal. The Wildcats would lead Redlands 10 to nothing with 3.20 left in the first quarter. Moving into the second quarter, the Wildcats quarterback Herrera makes this toss up the middle to Anderson who scores on the 13-yard pass for his second touchdown in the game. Rev leads 17 to nothing with 4.59 left in the second quarter. Redlands would fumble the ball to Redlands East Valley and the Wildcats capitalize on this big pass play from quarterback Herrera to junior wide receiver Malik Lovett who is tackled at the two yard line. On the next play, Rev would score the touchdown and go on to win the smudge pot game 45-7 to remain atop the Citrus Belt League 